father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to install auto plugin on your PlayStation Vita or on your modded PS TV. And with this method, you'll be able to install multiple plugins at once, and you don't have to basically manually, you know, install plugins with like your tie folder, whether in UX0 or UR0. This is a much faster way on how to implement this, and this is what I usually use for most of my tutorials and whatever I use in terms of installing a lot of plugins for when I I play games on my modded PlayStation Vita but with that being all out the way as well I highly do recommend to go ahead and follow my social medias so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by also being subscribed to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how to you know not be out the mix of things and you'll know when I drop my latest content whether it be for the PlayStation 4 the PS3 Vita 3ds and such and so forth as well if you do want to be in a mix of things or you want to join my official community I do have a discord you can join and in my discord i will have that in the link in the description down below and i showcased here on the screen not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene as well you can get support for your favorite system so whether it be for the 3ds the vita or you just have a general question about this video about auto plugin you could go ahead and ask in my discord since i have support channels and also helpers to help you guys on you know basically how to set up things and all of that fun stuff with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend um you know checking out my patreon for my channel and and this is purely optional if you do want to support me in any shape or form by becoming a patron it does help with the overall development on my channel and i will have that in the card right now and also in the link in the description down below if you also want to um donate to me and support my channel i do take paypal of course it's purely optional but by supporting me on paypal um it does help with the overall development and it helps me buy things such as you know a better camera a better microphone and overall it just produces better quality content for you guys but with all of that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites and as i stated if you guys you know always watch my videos i will always have the links in the description down below as opposed to um you know useful links as well so you need a modded playstation vita that's already hacked on trinity slash hankaku or h on core h on core 2 so as long as you have a modified vita and it can run vita shell basically then you're good for this process you also um need vita shell and your system needs to be between firmware 3.68 to 3.72 you also need the latest version of auto plugin vbk and i will have that in the link description down below as well and you will also need a wi-fi connection for this process with along with filezilla ftp client i just want to go ahead and state um a special thanks to the hero gac for developing auto plugin and i want to give a shout out to all of the uh you know developers for the vita scene who has helped you know create a lot of plugins so it could be implemented into this one vbk with that being all out the way let's go ahead and get this started on the pc Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites in the video, what we're going to do now is just open up any web browser of your choice. So if you're using Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Firefox, or whatever you use, just go to go to my link in the description down below, or you can just type in this website right here. But this is the website we're going to be using to basically get the latest build of Auto Plugin from the Hero GAC. And here is the latest build. It was released three days ago. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and download it to our PC. It's not a big file at all. But what we need to do from here right now, guys, is just go into our downloads folder right here, pull it out. And all we need to do right now is go into um, our PlayStation Vita, open up Vita Shell, and then get this set up so we could transfer this file either with our USB cable or files of the FTP client. So all I'm going to do now is toggle to my PlayStation Vita. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto our PlayStation Vita as of right now. So what we need to do to transfer over our file is just to open up our Vita, of course. We need to go into Vita Shell, go ahead and open up the program. And then once you're into Vita Shell, guys, what we wanna do is go into uh, UX0 and make sure hit start first. 
and then what we want to do depending on how you want to transfer your files um it depends on what you want to do but if you're going to um basically transfer your files with your usb cable or your charging cable to your pc make sure your select button is toggled on by hitting you know down on the d-pad to select over it and then left and right if you want to toggle to usb and basically you'll transfer via on your pc with your usb but if you want to do it um with your wi-fi connection like i am or basically the ftp method make sure your select button is um you know hidden over this option where it says ftp and then you can hit circle on your device and then from here guys what you want to make sure is your wi-fi is on and then hit select on your playstation vita and then um you should see your ftp server on your playstation vita right now what we're going to do is just um cut to the video to our pc and then basically transfer over our file with files of the ftp client Alrighty guys, we're back onto the PC as showcased here and here is the auto plugin that VBK that we still need to transfer over. So what we need to do is go into FileZilla FTP client. If you don't already have this program, I will have it in the link in the description down below. Um, you just install it like any other um, .exe. But what we're going to do now is just go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP address. So here's mine, yours will be different. And then for the port will be 1337 so that will just be the same for us and then all we got to do is hit quick connect onto our device and then where it says ux0 right here we're going to just transfer over auto plugin vpk i already have um, an older build of it but that's fine i'm just going to rewrite over it and then as showcased here um it's basically transferring over now so it won't take too long the file is not large at all and then if you go to your successful transfers, um, you know, location on this thing or hit this tab, basically it stated that our file has successfully transferred over and I'll showcase that right um, now. So here's the file right here. So what we're going to do is go back into our PlayStation Vitas and then install the actual auto plugin dot VB. All right, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita as showcased here. We could go ahead and hit circle to cancel out our FTP connection. But if I scroll all the way down to my, um, basically my PlayStation Vita and go into the auto plugin.vpk, let's just go ahead and hit X over it. Go ahead and say yes to install this package. And it shouldn't take too long to um, basically install. You may have to click X again. But once it fully installs, we're going to go ahead and showcase um, how to set up auto plugin.vbk. And I'm going to go ahead and display which plugins I use and I also recommend for any Vita user. And I will be making a video in the future about that as well. So stay tuned on a more in-depth guide for that. But um, just today, this is just an overall installation guide. So I'm just waiting for um, it to do its thing right here. Hopefully it won't take too long. Sometimes the VPK takes like, you know, a second to, I guess, pop up into live area. So it's now done. Let me go ahead and open up a uh, Vita shell. I probably already it's written over my old version, so I got to find it. So, yep, here is auto plugin not VPK right here. And you can see that it is the latest version, which is 4.01 as I'm recording this. And this is um, October 16th, 2019. Let me go ahead and open up auto plugin. So I shouldn't find any update to it. So as showcased here, here is auto plugin that VPK and this is how it looks. So there's a bunch of things you can do in here. So if you are messing with a lot of stuff with adrenaline, you can install plugins for like, you know, GTA native resolution for games like uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City, and also uh, Vice City Stories. Um, if you, you want to mess with some things with Kingdom Hearts and undub the audio in Japanese, you can for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Um, but that was just some main things with the adrenaline extras. If you want to install, you know, options for pkgj set up a custom boot splash a custom warning uh if you want to translate auto plugin if you want to help out the developers those are some cool things as well but let's go ahead and get started on the plugins for vita so the easiest way on how to do this is just go to this menu go hit x and hit install plugins and you'll see a ton of plugins there are i think 63 of them in here and if you um want to toggle your plugins into one area to ux0 or ur0 all you got to do is hit l and r on a shoulder button right here but i usually keep all my uh plugins in your i zero but i do recommend some cool plugins that i'll showcase on how to install um 
I like to uh, affix the double touch for adrenaline so you won't have that little bug so that's one I um, usually use uh, a cool one as well if the DualShock 4 controller with your Vita um, I will have a card right now if you guys actually want to showcase or I can show you guys on how to set up a PlayStation 4 controller to run on your PS Vita so you can play on a PS4 controller but I do recommend um, you know if you guys like to play fighting games to you know install that one um some main ones of course that it's like you know you know mandatory for a lot of stuff so if you using no npdm dumps make sure you have uh the official flows version 1.2 um some other things i do like in terms of plugins um if you into trophy modding i do recommend installing trophy hacks um, I'm not going to install this method since I already have my own version of it. Um, if you want to stream your PlayStation Vita, um, depending on what model you have or you want to use the official thing, you could go ahead and install this plugin right here. And this is how I'm actually recording this footage for today. I'm just trying to find some other plugins that I do recommend for this process. A repatch definitely so if you're into like fan translation games or you like to have ad content or you know some type of mods for your um games are basically a patch i do recommend having repatch and i do use it in a lot of my uh, translation vita videos a uh, refood is a uh, definitely a must if you on a firmware like i am so i'm on 3.60 and so so if i wanted to play a game that's on 3.69 i will have a card right now showcasing on how to do that as well in more you know detail but this is a plugin that allows you to um, play games on a basically a lower firm or a higher firmware that requires it and I'm trying to see if there's any more basically um, any more plugins that I think is pretty cool to have yeah so basically a uh, download enabler is cool as well it just allows you to download files through your browser so if you want to download it a vpk off like a uh, github on your vita you can for this but um yeah this is essentially how to set up your plugins and all you would have to do is hit start on your vita and then basically will reset it and then all of your plugins uh will pop on to your playstation vita so that's what i'm going to do here and what i'm going to do now is cut out the video since my playstation vita has restarted and then i'll showcase that all my plugins that we just installed um it's in our uh, your zero type folder Alrighty guys, so as showcased here my PlayStation Vita did successfully restart. So what I'm gonna do is go into Vita Shell, go into Vita Shell uh once again, and then what I'm gonna do is go into my UR0 folder since that's where I installed my plugins in. And as you remember, I do have all my plugins. So here's DualShock 4 for Vita, here's also Refood, no NPDRM. Here is also a UCDC UVC, which allows me to stream on my Vita. I'm trying to find some other ones I did install. Um, here's Refood and also Repatch. But yeah, that's how you can see here that um, my folder um, basically, or all my plugins has set it up all of itself. And here's the config.txt. So it did all of the work for me back in the day before auto plugin was even a thing. We would have to manually, you know, set our plugins like this with a notepad on our uh, PC or using on uh, Vita. So it did take some time on how to set this up. But yeah, this is essentially the easiest method on how to set up plugins and, you know, basically get the best out of your PlayStation Vita by, you know, enabling these things to, you know, make your gameplay overall better. With that being all out the way, my name is Nagato. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please, you know, like, share, and subscribe. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.